This video goes over how clinical cases are structured and organized in Med Valley to help develop clinical judgment. Professor Robert Bork, an expert in learning and memory, summarized it like this when he said, Interleaving is like weaving a tapestry of knowledge. By mixing and interleaving different concepts, we create a richer fabric of understanding. This approach challenges the mind and enhances our ability to differentiate between similar ideas, fostering deeper learning and mastery. I really like that quote. And essentially, we've organized our cases in a similar way so that we force you in a kind way to interleave these patients and cases together. Okay, we'll sit back while I explain some of the details of how we do this and how we recommend using Med Valley. Hey, before I jump into that, quick interruption. We're adding cases like the ones I'm talking about every other week. And so if you wanna see more and more cases to give you more and more variety to practice in Med Valley, then go over and support us with a community membership. It directly goes to our engineers that build more cases and more features to help your learning. And if you can't do that right now, palpate that subscribe button. That always helps too. So when you're in front of a door and you wanna select a case, you have a few different options. You can just select any of the cases that you see, going by symptom and the patient presentation. There are foundational cases. These are great for beginners. They don't have any pathology. And generally students are trying to just learn the steps as you go through. When you select cases based on symptoms, there is pathology and the expectations are elevated and you're expected to try and find uh, differentials, investigations, and patient management. So while you can just go case by case learning it, we recommend that when you select a symptom, you then select random. This randomness is what introduces the interleaving between different concepts and patients. These patients are all going to have a similar presentation, but they'll be different enough to help you compare and contrast between these concepts. This again helps you develop that tapestry of knowledge that can help you to differentiate between similar ideas that Robert Bjork was referring to. This idea was introduced to me early in medical school when I would have that phenomenon that we've all experienced where you, you learn about some cases and then you go into clinic and for some reason you, you see a patient who you know has those problems but you're not able to translate that information that you learned from your lectures into the clinic as easily as you want and you stumble things out and you go away from it. You think, I knew that, why was I doing that? Why was I so hesitant? What's going on? Do I just need to know it better? So this. This relates to that where, let's take an example. I can know everything there is to know about COPD, let's say, and that's helpful. But guess what? COPD has a ton of overlapping concepts and ideas and symptoms with asthma, heart failure, pneumonia. And so when you instead are looking at these four conditions, it's less about knowing everything that you can know about OCD. And it's more about trying to find out what information is most important for you to be able to differentiate between those four different conditions. This is a different way of thinking, and it's actually a different way of structuring and organizing information. When we interleave concepts, our brain is naturally building structures that help us to compare, contrast, and differentiate. So when you select a symptom and random, what's happening is we're presenting to you patients that have a similar presenting symptom, but they're different enough to help you learn to compare and contrast. Within each symptom group or case group, as we call them sometimes, we are adding new cases every week so that your library of clinical knowledge is getting richer and deeper. Our next video builds well on this concept. We go over a slightly different question, which is how can I, as a medical student, when I'm going through so much information, figure out what I need to study, what I need to review, when, how? And we try and automate that through a feature called My Clinic. So go check it out. Thanks for your time. Best of luck studying.